Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene, and today's video is a good old fashioned first impression foundation concealer review. I recently purchased the Lawless Flawless Finish Makeup. This is in the shade Mojave. If you are a original subscriber, then you know I used to do foundation tester Tuesdays literally every week. Just kind of stopped wearing as much foundation and the new Jouer concealers. I really appreciate that Jouer sent these to me before the launch. These are launching October 2nd at Sephora and Jouer Cosmetics. Com. If you want to save 15%, you can shop at the Jouer website using my name, Serene15, for 15% off. That is an affiliate code. That code is good for all purchases on Jouer's website, and you can use it multiple times. They're also available at Sephora now, so if you want to earn your Sephora rewards or whatever, you can do that as well. The face is cleansed, prepped, and primed. I did use the Tatcha primer. This is the Silk Canvas. It's been my go-to primer. Lawless Beauty, which is from Annie Lawless, and she has created a line of liquid lipsticks as well as foundations, and now Seal the Deal Powder, which I haven't gotten my hands on just yet. All her products are clean, so she wants to make sure everything that she creates has none of the nasties, which I really appreciate, but it still performs as well as you want your makeup to perform in in the traditional sense. I think a lot of the times cleaner beauty products can be more on the less is more, that very luminous, that very natural skin look, and that is not everybody's cup of tea. And just because you want more coverage, it doesn't mean that you should have to only have the traditional senses of products that maybe have some ingredients that can irritate your skin or not be so good for you, especially if you like wearing foundation every day. It comes in a pump, it comes in this beautiful frosted package, which is also really nice. Not that much. And I'm trying out this new mirror from Simple Human. It's not new, it's just back in stock. So you pull it out and it has a sensor and it'll light up and then it has this little finger thing. So I thought that was really cool. Put everything on, I show you close up and I check in throughout the day in different types of lighting. I only use natural light and once the sun sets, I use whatever available light there is so that you know what your face might look like in real life. I'll let you know how I feel about the products as a first impression at the end of this video. I'm just gonna start on my one side of my face so you can see the coverage and you can see the shade is just a little bit warmer than I need it looks pretty good in terms of coverage and it blended out pretty nicely. It was a little bit thicker than I anticipated for this foundation because typically with a lot of toxic free cleaner foundations, they tend to be very oily and liquidy. And I like that this is more of a traditional liquid foundation that has a little more consistency to it. It's going to be a little bit more of that traditional creamy texture that blends out so i think if you're new to clean products you'll still enjoy the consistency you'll enjoy the coverage for sure because that is pretty impressive in terms of just one layer of product and i'm not wearing a ton so i'm going to try and fix this area out and you can see you can just see it minimize my redness any discoloration and it also just blurred everything which is really lovely a little bit more on my jawline because i feel like that isn't blended out very well and then I'm now gonna go in with this side of my face. Immediately after applying my entire face of the foundation, I feel like in terms of the shade range, everything does skew more on the warm side. In terms of coverage, I think this is a really good medium to full coverage foundation. I would compare it to my go-to event and photography foundations which would be currently the Lancome Tint et al. and the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Those are kind of my two favorite ones when I'm wearing foundation to put on. And I like the consistency of this because it is very um, creamy and gel-like, but it goes on and blends out nicely with a beauty blender. You could probably get more coverage with a foundation brush or just using your fingers. And we'll just see how it wears. I like that it got rid of any of my redness without much concealing and and it got rid of any of the discoloration and just evened out and blurred out my skin. Um, I'm gonna be that person today though with a different shade of face versus chest. 
So I did bring it down, but I'm wearing a white shirt, so I'm not going to worry too much about it in terms of just testing out the product. So I'm going to go in with the concealers now from Jouer. This is the Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. Christina has been working on these forever. So excited they're finally here. So there's two shades I think I'm going to be under my eyes. I have Creme Brulee and Toast. I'm going to try Creme Brulee. You can see that it's got a really nice flat doe foot applicator and then you've got that nice precision point that's a good applicator definitely a very warm shade for me that coverage is pretty darn good and very flawless i like that i'm gonna actually grab a lighter shade to try to brighten up my under eyes let's try macadamia yeah, that's more my under eye shade. The creme brulee shade, I feel like, is more like around my face. Yes, macadamia under the eye is what it's all about. That definitely brightened up my under eyes. And I really like that. The coverage is good, but it's not cakey. It's not heavy. It feels really nice right now. I am very sensitive under my eyes. So we will set that with the powder. Currently, the powder I've been using is this Anami skincare powder. So I'm gonna set my entire face, do my entire makeup, and check in with you to show you what everything looks like with the rest of my face done. And then of course, check in throughout the day with close-ups and natural lighting, and then my final thoughts at the end of this video. Before I powder, I just realized I can fix this from Brulee and try and cover that little blemish on my nose. She has scar at this point, so I don't know if it'll be able to cover. But maybe it will. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. That's really good. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup. I have the rest of my makeup on and I really love how everything just sits on top of this foundation and the concealer. I feel like it gave my bronzer and my blush a really good canvas to just blend beautifully. I'm really digging this formulation, especially if it's clean. I like it for when I want more coverage and I want that you know, made up more glam look for my lifestyle, still being able to feel good about the products on top of me. With the concealer, Christina, you're the first person that's been able to cover this nasty, nasty thing on my nose. Be impressed. So I've tried my Hourglass Stick Concealer, I've tried my Clay to Poe Concealer, it still peeks through and it just like, it'll dry the area out and then the concealer just sits on it kind of funny. So this Jouer Concealer was able to do that. I also like how smooth my under eyes look. Currently it's 1247, so I'll check in in a few more hours in a different type of lighting, but I like it. What do you think of my foundation? Very smooth, very smooth, looks good. Yeah, <laughs> do you see yourself? Okay, I have to do a check in real quick. Will you be quiet for two minutes? 6 p.m. and the foundation, I've been kind of sweaty and the foundation looks really good still. So does the concealer. I can't believe the concealer is still covering my nose because I've been rubbing my nose quite a bit too. Your eyes looks good. It looks a little bit dry. That could be the powder, but it's not bad in real life. This will probably be the last check-in in natural light, and then I'll show you guys in a little bit. But it's looking really good. I love how poreless it looks. My skin's a little bumpy right now on camera. It didn't look like this in the mirror. I don't think you have any film. You don't have any film? No. Hey guys, it's a little after 10, so I've had the foundation on for about 10 hours now, and I have to say, I'm quite impressed with the finish. I definitely feel like on camera, you're getting a lot more texture of my skin, even though in the mirror, I feel like I still look really flawless and airbrushed. It's really weird, this camera is so ultra HD, it picks up things that like my eye doesn't see in the mirror, which is crazy. So. I don't know how to like explain how I look in real life and the great thing is I don't notice any like real pilling or anything I'm getting oily right here in the mirror it looks really good and can't get over how smooth the finish is and how the coverage has stayed so I really love both products overall I recommend both products smooth all day long 
hasn't looked greasy. It looks really, really good. What brand is that one? That's Lawless. Oh, nice. I woke up like this foundation. She has a powder too, so I think I'm gonna get the powder. Can you tell I covered my nose with the concealer? No, I can't actually. It's the only concealer that's been able to cover that like giant mark because I picked my face. I feel like, look though, look in the viewfinder. I don't feel like I look as smooth in, re in the viewfinder as I do in real life, right? Uh, I just look pretty smooth. I feel like I look oilier. It might just be the lighting. I've been sweating. Like, I swear I'm getting hot flashes or something today because I was really, really hot. And then we had Korean barbecue, and I was sitting there being like, I might pass out from overheating. <laughs> it was about 80 degrees today. I'm really happy. I'm really impressed with this concealer covering that little blemish. Look, you have to get really close in there to kind of tell that I covered it. I don't really know what else to say because I really don't have anything negative to say about any of the products except maybe that the Lawless one does tend to err on the warmer side. I do hope they extend the range a little bit and come out with more neutral tones. But in terms of wearability, the fact that it's clean, the fact that I have not had to worry about it whatsoever, the coverage, it just looks really good. I'm very impressed with it. And then the concealer, I can see why it took Christina so long to work with it and make sure it's perfect because it really is a great full coverage, high coverage, no um, cakiness, no creasing, no, no, nothing bad about this concealer either. And I think the shade range is really decent for the concealer. Probably more than a lot of brands tend to come out with, especially indie brands. Check them out as well. Nothing else to say. Really love this stuff. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more beauty videos, lifestyle videos, vlogs, all those fun things. Uh, just make sure you also click that bell notification and turn on always notify so that you get a new video three times a week. But for August, October, <laughs> August, for October, I am doing Vlogtober, which means there'll be a new video up five days a week. So every Tuesday through Saturday, there'll be a new video. If you've tried any of these products or are planning to, please let me know in the comment section. Let us know what shade you ended up getting and what shade you normally are because it's a great way for us to learn about shade matching for different products and just you know building a community sharing our thoughts so we can all pool our resources so until next time thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye